Hi, everybody. I hope everybody's still doing good. I ordered this uh, three-pound bag of jewelry. I'm going to open... There's three bags in here, so I'm going to open one at a time. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and enjoyed the jewelry. Pour it all out here. Mm. Bag number one. Ooh, what's that? I've never seen a Dursey. Dursey or... I think it's called a Dursey. It's tangled. I like this chain. It's got those little dot things on it. Is it going to come out? No. Oh, this is from Charming Charlie. This one. That I'm getting here. It's got a really long chain. But see, it has the Charming Charlie symbol on it. I think I did something wrong with the clasp here. <laughs> I made a boo boo here. How do I get that out? There we go. I'm a doofy. Here's the. Oops. Here's the jersey. I guess it's like a. It's got to be at least a 30 inch chain. So that's nice. And it. It's purple. It's got some silver here. And gold, and then it has more purple on the other side. So it's like a, it's like a crystal rock to me. That's what it looks like. I made this black thing. I don't know if this will help show the piece or not. It looks pretty good. Oops, it's got a long chain on it, like I said. Drop the bag. Okay, that's piece number one. That's pretty pretty. Good start. Ooh, this is nice. It looks kind of uh, ethnic to me. It's very pretty. I'm, gonna, I'm probably gonna say pretty a lot today, huh? I'll try not to. It's nice. <laughs> There's no maker mark on the tag here. I mean on the necklace, but I like how it, how it looks. I love this part. Let me see if there's a mark on the back of that. Nope. It needs some cleaning, but besides that, it looks like it's in really good shape. Necklace. This one looks like uh, this looks like a rubber choker. This feels like rubber here. No maker mark. I guess you can hang anything you want on there as long as it fits over the thing. The piece here. Or you could just, you know, have a large clasp. It's like a uh, dark gray color. I like that. It's different. This would even look good on it. This one piece and it's wide enough this piece if you wanted to take it off and put it on here that would look nice too instead of having it on the shoelace because this looks like a shoelace to me i doubt it's a shoelace but kind of looks like one Ooh, lots of beads here tangles too tangles are okay wow this is beautiful I'm not getting it all in the screen here. Okay, there we go. It's got an orange, yellow, blue, and then it's got a mixture of the orange, yellow, blue here. And some, like, gray tubes or bugle beads. Yeah, they're bugle beads. This is beautiful. It's nice and heavy. It's got a loose string here, but I can cut that off. But this is a very nice piece. Hope you guys can see it good. I like how it's both orange here. And then it goes yellow and blue. Yellow and blue. And then orange again. It's very nice how they did that. It's about about 25 inches, I would say. It would hit a little lower than your collarbone, most likely. Oh, wow. Ceramic. This is a beautiful ceramic stone here. And it's got some red beads on it. It's pretty. 
and it has little seed beads up here and the ceramic more ceramic beads here I love the colors I also got some blue and some browns and uh, there's no make a mark this one looks short like a choker 17 inches maybe Ooh, what is this? This has a tag. Oh no, something has a tag. Oh yeah, this one does. This one has a tag. It says Babe Yond or Beyond Babe Beyond. Oh wow, that's different. What is that? Does that go on here? Yeah, it looks like it goes right there, but how can it stay up like that? <laughs> Let's see if it was on. That would hang in the back, actually. But I guess it could hang on the side. I don't know. It's on a stretchy, like, for your hair. But I have no idea what it is for or anything. Maybe when I do a search, I'll be able to tell. I think all the stones are there. Got, it's got rhinestones and pearls. It's very pretty. Very sparkly. And these stones are there. And these stones are... Th There's a lot more stones on this side. So maybe it does hang on your head. Or something like a headband. or Because it wouldn't. it would be asymmetrical. If you hung it in the middle here. That's how it would go. So I don't know how it would look on. Different. It would look different. It's a beautiful piece. I wonder what it is though. Is it for your hair? Is it for your neck? I don't know. You don't know. <laughs> One. Let's get a couple of these out of the tangle. So we can look at them. Oh, cute. See if it comes out of here. I have to undo the clasp. I gotta find the clasp right here. Okay, I got this. These four. All right, let's start with the heart. It's a nice heart necklace. Has no maker mark on it. silver tone. It's in good condition. The chain too. It's about an 18 inch chain. There's the back. I like how it's freeform. Like somebody just drew it. You know, just drew it with a pencil. I like that. This is so cute. This is a little elephant. It's a, oh, and it has a little baby elephant. This one needs cleaning bad. So it's got a mama and a baby. The chains, you know, it's got a lot of wear on it. This one. This one does. There we go. Mama and baby. Let me put this one up here and see what happens if we have it flat. On the surface. I guess it would hang like that I'm not sure <laughs> here's the heart one no oh. that's pretty well this one's really long it looks okay this won't work here it's very long I'll put elephant over there this one is uh, about 40 inches. It starts off up here. There's no maker mark. It's on string. Not a chain. A string. Like uh, embroidery floss type. And it has crystals. Oops. Crystals. String. Little stations of crystals. Really beautiful glass. You know they are crystals. They're glass parts. They're not plastic. And then it has this really nice 
hammered silver pendant. I'd wear this one for sure. Yeah, it's nice. Would you guys wear it? And these are really nice crystals. They're gray and silver and clear. That one's really pretty. Now we have this one that I untangled. These ones look lighter in color than these. Yeah, they are. That's pretty. This one might work on the black thing. That's a nice piece. Can you see the color change? The lighter up here and the darker down here. It's a nice piece. These are plastic. They look like glass, but they're plastic. Oh, we have a peace sign necklace here on a brown cord, leather cord. It's a gold tone peace sign. Hammered. It's got a lot of texture on it, as you can see. It's a nice one. This is like a boho... Boho-ish. <laughs> it needed to be longer, I think, because this is only like maybe... 18 inches, maybe. I don't see any earrings here, so... I don't know. Maybe they're in another bag. We got some more tangles here. Let's untangle some more. I really hope you guys are doing well. And nobody's getting sick where you're at. And hopefully everything can go... Semi back to semi normal anyway. I'm sure that we're gonna have to keep wearing masks and things, but I just, you know, I don't know how they're gonna do the concert things and movie theaters, if they're gonna even allow movie theaters to be open. Because that's a, a, a place where people gather, you know. A lot of people. This one's missing a stone on it. Okay, let's start with this one then. It's a beautiful necklace, but it's missing this stone here. I love the color. Like the champagne and beige. Oh, look at that big stone right there. That is beautiful. And then you got some more hanging down here. It's a Y-shaped necklace. Has no maker mark, but hopefully the pieces in the container... In the you know on the table here, I love this color. We have a toggle heart necklace. It's got a knot in it. Oh, maybe the toggle is just. Oh, it does have a knot. I can take it out, but it hangs on. You know, you just toggle it in the front. It's a nice one. The heart's small. Not too much in your face type of thing. No name on the toggle. And it's a nice heavy chain. I like the... Te the color is really nice too. It doesn't have much wear on it. It needs to be cleaned. It feels kind of grimy. This is just leather... Uh, strips. I don't know what you would use that for. Oh, it has a tag on it. It's by Express. There's a missing rhinestone here. I think it's their little... Uh, their tag. And then they have these really pretty crystals here. But I don't know. If you, it's just a choker? or Because I can't imagine you getting anything on that. I guess you'd just wear it as is. Right? Not sure. This one is gorgeous. This is all glass, or crystal, I should say. It's got glass seed beads, and then these black, beautiful black crystals here. These are very heavy. And then, there's a little boo-boo here. Looks like it broke, and somebody tied it back up. But it has this seed beads to the top, to where you put it on. I mean, around your neck. And then you have this beautiful black crystal piece hanging down it's a, a very nice statement I think this would be a nice statement at a party or 
just going out to dinner. And I like how heavy it is. You know that. I like heavy jewelry. This one has uh, a maker mark. Looks like a New York. Yes. It's a New York necklace. That's beautiful. It's in great shape. It's long. It's This looks about 28 inches. Yeah, at least 28, maybe 30 inches. And it has a lot of uh, open circles. And then it has some solid disc. It's a nice piece. And it's in excellent condition. And it has the New York tag on it. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. <coughs> Now, this is a big tingle here. Let's see if we can get this out. Take this off. This is like a, like that gray one. It's just a coil piece. Or a choker-like piece. This is gold tone. It feels good. It feels like a, you can see it's all wrapped tightly. Really tiny pieces of thread. That's what it looks like anyway. Wrapped, wrapped, wrapped around here. It's beautiful work. Whoever did that took a lot of time and patience in that. I guess you can hang something on that. I would think. We're doing good on time. I want to try to open these clasps so I can undo these. Let's get a couple more ready. <coughs> Maybe this is a multi-link or multi-strand necklace. I'm not sure. And do this one. This is a big tangle here. I keep pulling on my microphone cord. I hope that's not interfering with anything, sound or anything. <laughs> this is just not wanting to come off of here. It doesn't go to it. It's just tangled up in here. Here's a clasp. Maybe if I undo the clasp, I can get it off. Oh, there's more than one piece. There's that one. This one. Okay. Here we go. We got some. <clears throat> Let's move that out of the way. We'll start with this rose. Oh, wow. I didn't know it. That's cool. I thought I broke it. It opens. I guess you could put pictures in there. Picture and a picture. You'd have to glue them in and then it closes back up. That's cool. I would put pictures or names, something keepsake. And it, it has a Y here. What is that? That looks like an Art Deco style right there. Right there and then it goes down to the rose and it has the Y here a very long chain no maker mark this one's pretty too I mean they're all nice I'm happy with what I've seen so far Is this one double yeah this one's a double this is China and that's it so it was made in China it's a double strand silver tone with crystal rhinestones on there. It's a good link too. And it has this really long extender chain here. But this little tag, all it says is China on it. I think. Yep. So we have that one. It didn't fall down right. There we go. That one's pretty. As far as I can tell, all the little rhinestones are there. It's a good heavy chain, too. Now, this one is two link, or two strands. Well, actually, multi-strand. It's got a uh, snake's chain up here. Up towards the top. Wait, there's a maker mark. Oh, it's by Claire's. It's in really bad shape. Look. It's just in really been worn a lot. And it has rhinestones down here. Tiny, tiny ones. So it's like a snake chain. And then it turns into the rhinestones. I like how. 
how it looks so slinky. <laughs> but it isn't in very good shape. I mean, the necklace isn't bad. Oh, some of these are little balls instead of crystals. I mean, rhinestones. So we have rhinestones and little tiny balls and snake chain. But this part is in bad shape. But I could always just take that off of there. But that's pretty. That would look good with, uh, like, a white tank top and some jeans. Or maybe black tank top jeans. <laughs> this one has a heart that says BFF and a rainbow peace sign. The heart's behind here. I'll put it. This must have been like a best friend necklace. The other one, the other friend must have had another one that said BFF on it. Which is different. Most of the time you have, you know, half best friend and then it's cut in half. And they share it. That one's nice. What's this one? Oh, this is a beautiful pendant. It's not anything expensive because... There's no open on the back, so. But it's a beautiful pendant anyway. I like it. It's got a nice size crystal in there. And my thumbnail is just not growing right. It looks bad. I don't know why it's doing that. It just won't grow. Ooh, I like this. I like this link a lot, and these big silver balls are really cool. Yeah, I like this one. I'd wear this one. <laughs> it's fun to me. And I like large links on the chain. Ooh, this is a pretty color. Is it hooked to something? Oh, yeah. I don't think it's hooked to this black one. No. Let me try to untangle it as much as I can. As best as I can, anyway. It's got a little knot here. Come on. It doesn't want to untie, I mean, untangle here. Let me see what it looks like if we lay it out. It is by, oh, it says Made in China. And it has Lydell with a squiggly asterisk looking symbol it goes like that these are beautiful crystals it has down here this is blingy and it has this really nice piece of glass and this other piece of glass with the gold trim around it and then you have some gold crystals on here with the peach color then down here you have, like, um, white ones. White crystals. I've never seen that before. That's different. They're kind of like opaque crystals. Yeah, but it's a nice, it's a beautiful necklace. Lydell, huh? I never heard of Lydell. I would look him up. Or her up. <laughs> Not sure. Man or a woman. Ooh, this is pretty heavy. This is a flower. It's beautiful. It's got some crystals on it. Wait, there's a maker mark here. Oh, it's this, um, this Claiborne. LC. Look at how beautiful that flower is. It's heavy. It's very heavy. This is, like, really small. Maybe 16, 17 inches, maybe. And it looks like all the stones are there. I need some cleaning, some T, you know, TLC, but besides that, it's a beautiful piece. And these ones are plastic here. And I don't know why it has an extra piece of chain here coming out. Maybe there was another strand, because both of it, they've been cut. So there was another strand here for something. Maybe it was longer. I would think longer, because that's pretty short. I have to look up the necklace and hopefully they have they have it on there what it's supposed to look like. We're almost at 30 minutes. We're at 24. This is a wrap bracelet looks like. It's 
very pretty. It's got a uh, those Aurora Borealis crystals all the way around. Double stranded, you know, layered, double layer. Has this nice gold button on it. No name on the button. And it has. I guess you could put it in here or in here. This one looks kind of big for it, but. I don't know why you'd want all that string hanging. Huh. I don't know. I've never really worn one of these. I've gotten them in my jars, but I've never really worn them. This one's kind of short, too, so it just wraps around twice. This is a faux pearl. Looks vintage. Oh, it's by Claire's, too. They, they actually have their name on this instead of a tag. And it has the sea clasp or spring clasp. So it's a little older, I think. I would think, anyway. The pearls are in really nice shape, though. You know, they have some luster to them. Ooh, this is beautiful. Is there a clasp? Oh, yeah, a toggle. Maybe the toggle goes, maybe. I, I don't know. I guess the toggles just stay at the back. I would think it would go towards the front because it's a very beautiful toggle. Oh, this side. You see the little crystal here? And inside this piece, too, on the toggle. And then you got the stations of crystal here. And it's on wire. And you got this beautiful, beautiful selection down here. But I love this toggle. It kind of looks like a little hanger. <laughs> like a hanger for clothes. There's the other side. has a flower. This is beautiful. It's in good shape, too. I would I would have thought that this was in the front, but you can't do it with these because the bead, you know, because of this bead, that one bead. Well, yeah, well, I'm sure it goes this way. It is just, I love that color, that color blue. We have a last piece here in that bag is a multi-strand barrel beads. And uh, our bugle beads, and there's smaller bugle beads here, like a, a, a shiny gray. And these are these remind me of those smaller, skinny ones, horse hair or buffalo hair beads that they use to make Native American jewelry. But that's what it reminds me of. This is a, a, a very nice one. I like how big they are, the bugle beads. And how shiny these are. These are gorgeous. Did I see a maker mark? No. No maker mark. But it is a very nice necklace. Matches my towel. <laughs> okay. Well, that ends this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope you saw some pieces that you like. And buy them. <laughs> Alright. Take care of yourselves, you guys. And thumbs up, please. And go to the next video. Bye-bye.